Hi everybody, this is Crystal from Back of Day Crochet. Thank you for joining me and I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Today I have another stitch tutorial for you. Um, this yarn was quite popular on my last stitch tutorial so I thought I'd use it again because it is very pretty and it does make beautiful, beautiful stitches. Look at this one. This is a very easy stitch. I think um, as long as you know how to do double crochets, you'll be able to do this because I'm going to show you how to do the rest. This is called the bubble drop bubble drop stitch isn't that pretty it is a four row repeat but they are pretty much the same it's only a four row because they go catty cornered see that but great stitch for uh blankets it does have a bit of a texture to it you can see um the little not much you know but a little bit of a texture there to it from the drop bobble stitches there see that so yes blankets definitely always blankets because it's not holy or anything um for baby or for you know throw size king size whatever you want a nice scarf uh hat set um let's see anything actually uh, uh wash rags you can use if you want to make them with cotton yarn um, you could use it for a sweater, which I think that would make an excellent sweater top, uh, panel for a sweater, um, pretty much anything that you could think of. This would be a great stitch for it because it's not holy. It's, uh, it's nice. It'd make a pretty nice wrap, especially for the fall and winter months or even the early spring when it's cool out. So do you guys want to go ahead and get started on this? Let's do it. It's pretty. All right. First off, don't forget to subscribe to Bag Day Crochet. If you haven't yet, hit that button in the right hand corner. And check out all my tutorials. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. I have anything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. So hit that subscribe button, please, if you haven't yet. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. So why don't we go ahead and begin? First, let me let me actually let me start out by showing you the yarn that I used. Um, like I said, I used this yarn. In my last stitch tutorial and it was so beautiful i wanted to use it again this is ice yarns picasso yarn see that it is a chain spun yarn it's a very lightweight and it's very shiny and it's very beautiful it is an acrylic polyester blend and it's a medium weight number four now you don't have to use this yarn any yarn that you choose will work any fiber any weight because since this being a stitch tutorial i'm going to show you how to do the stitch and i will give you the multiple of the stitch which means that um you can use chain to your desired length depending on what yarn you're that you're using and for the purpose of this stitch tutorial i'll be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook so whatever it is you're making it needs to be done in a multiple of six so we go ahead and we start with a slip knot on our hook and we just start chaining in sixes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you keep that up until you get it the width that you want it to be, whether you're doing a scarf or a blanket or whatever it might be it's done in a multiple of six all right so once you get done chaining in your multiple of six we're going to go ahead and start out with row one now row one we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook we never count the one that's on our hook so there's one and there is two we're going to go ahead and do a single crochet into that stitch and then we're going to work across and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain just like this so row one is one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of your row all right so i've made it to the end of row one and now we're going to start row two. So rows two, three, four, and five are the repeat rows. So we'll go ahead and we'll start row two by chaining one, 
and turning our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything, so we'll just pretend like it's not even there. Now we're gonna work a double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we're gonna work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of row two. So row two is just a double crochet row, working one double in every stitch until we make it to the end oops, of the row. All right, so I've made it to the end of row two, and now we'll begin row three. We're gonna chain one and turn our work, and again, that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're gonna put a single crochet into the first five stitches. So right here being our very first one. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna do a drop bobble stitch, and it's not hard at all. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be doing a bobble stitch around the post of the next stitch from the previous row right here. See this? Here's our next stitch. We're gonna be working around the post of it. So when I do post stitches, I like to pull that post up and like that and kind of fold my work in half. It just makes it easier to go around the post and to work your stitch. So this is how we're going to work the bobble. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go around the post of the stitch, not the top of it, see that? Draw up a loop. And we're going to yarn over and go through those first two loops on our hook. Now we want to do that four times total, so that would be number one. Again, we're going to yarn over, go around the post, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. So that's two times. Again, we're going to yarn over, go around the same post, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. So that is three times, we're gonna do it one more time. Yarn over, go around the post, draw up a loop, and we're gonna yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And you will have five loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all five, like that. And that is your drop bobble. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna work one single crochet into the next five stitches, starting with this stitch here, not the one that our uh, bobble is on, but this one right here. So go ahead and put a single crochet right into it and that'll lock that bobble down. We wanna do five in a row. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. See that? Looks cool, don't it? I like it. All right, now we're gonna do the drop bobble again into the next stitch. So we're gonna be working around the post of this stitch. So I'm just gonna pop it up. Now you don't have to do it the way I do. This is how I always usually do it when because it's easier for me to fold my work like that and pull my post up that way I can see it better so we're going to do our drop bobble stitch again so we're going to yarn over and go around the post of that stitch draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops now remember we want to do that four times so that was number one again yarn over go around the post draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook that's two times. Again, yarn over, draw up a loop, 
yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. There's three times, so one more time we're going to yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. You should have five loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all five. And there you did your drop bobble. Now we're going to bring our work back up and we're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches, starting with this one right here. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And this is what we're going to repeat for row three. Isn't that neat? It's so cool looking. I love interesting stitches with, with a little texture or a lot of texture. Let's do it. I'll show you one more time. So we're going to go to the, we're going to do a drop bobble into the next stitch or around the post of the next stitch. So I'm going to push that post up and fold my work, pull that out a bit. And I'm going to yarn over and go right around the post of it, draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two. We need to do that four times. So that was number one. Again, yarn over, go around the post, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. It's two times, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. That's three times, one more time, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, five loops that remain, yarn over and go through all five, and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of our row. All right, when you're coming to the end of row three, and I just did my last drop bobble stitch, I have, you should have five stitches that remain. Go ahead and put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches, and that will end row three. It's like that. It's like pearly beads, isn't it? It's so, so pretty. All right, or little bubbles under the water. We're going to chain one for row four and turn our work. Remember the chain one does not count as anything, so we're going to yarn over and we're going to put a double crochet into our very first stitch. And then we're going to work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way across. Even we need to put a double crochet into every single crochet and one double crochet on top of that drop bobble stitch. So I'm there. You can see the top of that right there. Like that. So you should have five double crochets there's one, two, three. This will help you keep count. Four and five. And then you'll have one on top of the drop bobble right here. Like that. And then you start over again with five double crochets. So it's just five double crochets in between the drop bobbles. That's just to help you keep count. Otherwise, it's just one double crochet in every stitch, including one on top of the drop bobbles. I count in between, it helps me keep track so I don't mess up my stitches. So I'm going to continue putting a one double crochet in every stitch, in every single crochet, 
and on top of every drop bobble until I make it to the end of the row. So row four is just a double crochet row. All right, I have made it to the end of row four. Now we're gonna start row five, which is the last row of the repeat by chaining one and turning our work. So it's pretty similar to when we do the, we're gonna do the drop bobbles again, except for we're gonna do them catty cornered. So we're gonna start off by putting one single crochet into the first two stitches. So go into this very first one, put a single crochet, and then the next one, we put a single crochet. And then the next one, right here, we put our drop bobble. So the only really difference is, is how we start and how we finish versus the other drop bobble row. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. that. Now we're going to start off and we're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then your next stitch here we're going to do a drop bobble around the post of the stitch And again, one single crochet into the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll do a drop bobble into our next stitch. And if you look, you can see now that our drop bobbles are catty cornered from each other, just like we want. So I'm gonna keep repeating this for row five until I get to the last two stitches of my row. All right, I've come to the end of row five. I just did a drop bobble and I have two stitches that remain. I'm going to put one single crochet in the remaining two stitches and that'll end row five and that'll end our repeat. So now we just need to repeat rows two, three, four, and five until we get to our desired length. That is so pretty. And after a little while, it will start to look like this. Beautiful, beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Remember, just keep repeating rows two, three, four, and five until you get it as large as you'd like it to be for whatever project you are making. And in whatever you make, anything at all, doesn't even have to be one of my tutorials. Knit stuff as well. I love looking at knit stuff. Any yarn that you get, yarn holes. You can always show me on Instagram. Come follow me on Instagram at Bagger Day Crochet on Instagram. Hashtag Bagger Day Crochet. Show me, what show me what's on your hook. Show me any new yarn you got. I'm always like looking at that stuff. But that's it. Don't forget to check out all my other tutorials, all right? Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notifications on. Give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good day. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.